Hey there everybody, Richie D back again, looking at the consumer version of the new Samsung Gear VR powered by Oculus. I thought I'd be a real nerd and actually compare the weight of each of these and compare that to other products in the market and also other things that people might actually wear on their head. So let's check out a weight comparison of the old Gear VR versus the new. So yes, we've gone all out. I have my digital scale here ready to make some weight comparisons. So first thing we'll do is zero this out. And what we're going to do is first weigh the old uh, Gear VR. So let's see how much this weighs and get everything on there. And this weighs, this comes in at 378, it's 380 grams, give or take, a couple of grams. But you can see that a lot of that is because of this area up here right here, this plastic part here, and then on the back of the head, you've got another plastic part as well. So I'm sure that's contributing to a fair bit of the, uh, of the weight. But as you can see, 378 uh, grams is what we're talking about, or thereabouts. When we look at the new consumer version of the Gear VR, put this on here, you can see, first of all, you can see that the uh, straps for the head are very different. They're just a material with some Velcro. When you actually look at the figure, what do we get? 320, so there's a full 60 grams uh, that's been taken off just from, probably just from the um, yeah, subtraction of, the, uh, of that hard plastic that was used. But then of course, we need to also look at a couple other things as well, and that includes the actual weight of the phone. So the old phone, the Note 4, well, let's zero that out again. Zero. This come out at 180 grams itself. So there's the weight of that phone, and that's, you know, we, we kind of knew that. Now this is the S6 flat version. This one comes out at about 140. So there again, there's another 40 grams worth. So let's put them in total, and let's put in the uh, gear, uh, sorry, the Note 4 into the uh, gear VR and also the S6 into the new Gear VR. And let's see what that all adds up to. Because obviously something that you're going to be putting on your head for a substantial amount of time uh, is something that you're going to want to know how it's going to affect uh, you know, the, comp the, the level of comfort that you're going to have. So now we've got the Gear VR with the Note 4 in there. And let's see what that comes to. We'll put it all there together. And we get 550. So more than half a kilo worth of equipment is sitting on your head at any one time. When we look at the uh, consumer version of the Gear VR, including the smaller S6, obviously. So we go from 550 down to 454. So a nearly a full 100 grams comes off. And that's a fairly big difference when it comes to you know, something that's going to be on your head and you're going to be swiveling around, moving up and down. But let's take that further. Let's say we don't need this front panel here because you, you don't really need it. So let's take that off. And that takes it down a little bit further, down to say four, yep, 420. And then let's say you're pretty comfortable with not having to use this um, head PC, which is the overhead. So let's take that part off as well. I'll just remove that here and take it off. So let's see what we come down to now. So this is probably the lightest that you're probably going to get on with an S6. So creeping down to nearly 400 grams. So how does that compare to something else that you might wear on your head kind of every day? Well, if you're a, if you're a cyclist, for example, uh, you might put uh, a helmet on your head. This one is kind of a you know, small to mid-sized helmet um, for um, you know, uh, probably older children, I guess. It's the only one I could find, but that's, that's what we're using here. So if we put this helmet on there, you can see here that that's worth 362 grams. So there's another 40 to 50 grams on top of that for Gear VR. Not bad, I've got to say. Obviously, that weight is a bit different because it's sitting further down. Uh, on your face. 
but also let's have a look at one of the other uh, virtual reality uh, kits that I thought was really cool, which is the VR one, which is the Zeiss version. Now I've already put the uh, S uh, sorry the Gear S5 into here, and let's see what that comes out at. Well, that comes out at 600 grams. Now that has always felt a little heavy in my mind, to be honest. Um, even without the uh, S5 in there, just picking it up, it always has had a bit of heft to it. Um, but I've always felt that that's kind of part of the, the quality of it. But when you're going from 600 grams down to 400 grams with the new Gear VR, what it obviously means is that a longer time that you can use it for, um, even though it is 200 grams less, it actually packs in uh, way more hardware into the actual uh, device itself with the gyroscope and the motion sensors um, and the control pad and, and everything else that it comes with. So you can see that 400 grams, uh, you know, you're going to get a much higher level of playability and immersion because you won't be feeling it as much on your head. Now, I've got to say, I do prefer still, after trying this, I still prefer to have the overhead mechanism on the, um, on the Gear VR. I prefer to have this section actually on there, which does add a small bit of weight. I think we, it worked out to be, what, uh, 20, 20 grams or so. Um, but I would put that on because it actually helps level it and balance it on your head way better as well, particularly when you're moving your head around in some of those games, which you are apt to do. Well, that's really all I wanted to show you today. Just very quickly, a weight comparison between um, you know, one of what I guess would be the leading other VRs, which is the Zeiss VR1, along with the two versions of the GI VR, which I've been uh, playing with. Hope you enjoyed that. Any questions or anything you'd like me to dig further into when it comes to uh, the, the latest consumer version of Gear VR. Just give us a hoy and leave a comment on the, uh, on the uh, YouTube field down there. Um, I can't wait to hear from you. As always, until next time.